Hello guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video of War Thunder. It's actually not been too long since my last video of War Thunder, but I'm just loving this game so much I decided to make another one. Just um, show you more about the game and how I'm actually a little bit better at this time instead of having a shit ton of biplanes. As you can see, there's my pride and glory, the Hurricane, and if any of you patriotic British are out there, you'll often know that the Hurricane was often forgot about during the Battle of Britain, and it wasn't just the Spitfires which, you know, shot down all, um, the German Luftwaffe and the rest of their fighters, the Hurricanes also had a huge part in it as well. But let's not get all historical, you're here to watch me play a game, I presume, so <laughs> instead of go watch our history documentary if you're interested in that. So I'm just going to jump straight into the game, so show you guys what it's about. I realise that per, per rank you have different types of games, so the reason that I had the same game over and over again on my last video is because I was in the first rank, as you can see, 0 to 1 there. And I'm in um, I'm rank 3 at the moment, so yeah, so I'm a little bit better. It's also a little bit harder, but a little more fun. But the pro... Um, what what worries me though is the the gameplay at the moment is brilliant, but I'm I don't know how they're gonna implement like armored units, like being able to control tanks, like world of tanks and stuff. I feel like planes will just rape the shit out of him, so they're gonna horribly have to make either the ta they're gonna have to have some massive AA guns on the tank, or you know just armored AA units. Or right. Anyway, and fleet should be fleet should be fine to be honest. Um, so I'm j I normally jump in a little bit later. Let all those, you know, let all the determined people go first. And as you can see, oh, I don't think I've been on this map, but as you can see, the graphics are absolutely beautiful. I mean, oh, that's the one thing which does take my breath away about this game. The graphics are brilliant. You actually do feel like you're flying a plane in World War Two. So yeah, as um. <laughs> I'm going to be really, as Magneto says in the last stand, the pawns always go first, so we're going to send the eager, like, 14-year-old kids in with their little fighters first, and what I do is I hang back, pick a target, and you, and go for it. Because if I just go head first, I normally get ripped to pieces. My Hurricane is a very nice plane, and once you lose it, you can't fly it for the rest of this game. So I prefer that. He has a Spitfire? Sorry, I don't realise I've not seen a spit fire. So there we go, I'm already I've selected my target. I am he's going after one of my friendless, so I'm gonna get on his tail. Hope no one decides to do the same for me, I'll soon gosh. See he's got two bogeys on his tail, so I'm gonna try and help him out when I get within the green. And I have indeed got things on my tail. Shit. Oof. Well, that was too close for me. Looks like half my allies decided that um, they'll go down the same way. So let's take this guy out. There he goes. He's not going to survive much longer. So there we go. One kill. Let's see what else I can do before I get shot down. Luckily, I'm not going to take much damage on my plane. But they have started firing flak weaponry at me, so... Okay. I'm also going to try and take out one of these guys. There we go, destroy a surface units, do what we can towards the main objective. My last video was also a post-commentary, I thought I'll give it a go, but I, I prefer to do live commentary, to be honest. It's a bit more fun. Oh, no, you are joking! No, you bastard! Oh. <sighs> the only thing which really pisses me off about this game is you herpy derpy all go for a fight and just crashes straight into you. Oh Jesus Christ, that really you know, I love the hurricane. You know normally I do quite well with the hurricane and then you get some herpy derpy AI who's not looking where he's going. To be honest, neither did I, so but I'm gonna obviously blame them. <laughs> so anyway, well I'm going to go in a bomber this time, and I love the bomber, because one, it has two turrets on it, it has two guys defending me, AI guys who automatically shoot the enemy, and two, it blows the shit out of everything, 
hence what Bomber does. But they're just quite fun to play as. They're a bit more laid back than a fighter. Like, fighters can be quite tense. You need to be aware of everything which is going around you. Whereas a bomber, you just wait until you get to your destination and you just unleash hell if it hits. So, alright, I'm just going to go for the views. Obviously, I'm above the clouds, so maybe I should go below the clouds just so I can actually see what I'm hitting. Even though there are markers already on the map. I don't know if there's a mountain. We're just gonna do a dive bomb. Press space to unleash bombs. And as you can hear, the classical whistle of bombs dropping. I'm sure any of you have lived through the blitz in Britain. If I actually have like 100 year old viewers will recognise us. <laughs> or anyone who's watched Pearl Harbor or any other war film. Jesus. Oh, yeah. If you another thing which I absolutely love about this game is they do they do take it you know they do take it seriously about their realism. There are G forces, and if you turn your plane too sharply, you know, it'll tell you about like you know, the, how you overload in a G force. And by the looks of it, anyway, it looks like my bombs hit fuck all. Normally, the case when you decide you're trying to hit armored cars, which are quite fascinating. Jesus Christ, we're really breathing. So yeah, you, you can actually black out if you put your plane while well, your pilot's under too much G-force and that hurricane's probably going to come straight for me. Not to worry though, that's why we have our gunners. I'm going to bomb the shit out of their airfield. Right then, just, this is the difficult part. Consider it sniping. Right, one bomb. Just drop the rest, hope, hope for the best. Let's pull out because I don't particularly want to get ripped in pieces by flak. I'm not the best bomber, I'll be honest. But. Ooh. Did anyone see that bombing? Hey! We got a set. We got one. We got two! That that's We aimed for two, so that's. You know, that's what we aimed for, so. Yeah, bombers are quite fun. They don't. A lot of people don't actually go for bombers. It, they normally mind their own business, stay quite high. I'm actually being quite dangerous and going quite low at the moment. But yeah, so blowing the shit out of their airbase. I do love doing that, however, it is pretty dangerous. As fighters do spawn there, and I'm, you know, the fight bomber ratio, you know, it's all, there's always more fighters. So. But this bomber's quite nifty. Oh, you know, I'll give it that. This bomber is not bad. It, it can hold its own in a dogfight in terms of my gunners. You know, I just run away while my gunners spray them with bullets. Oh, it is the first British bomber. Right, is there any targets down there? There's a few armoured cars down there, but we can. Oh, there's a weapon emplacement which no one's going for. Someone's going to knock those two there. Let's go for that one, shall we? Oh dear. And that's what happens when you try and dive with a bomber. Let's just go for those two weapon emplacements over there. Oh, and we've got a fire on ourselves, so drop the payload and start the basic maneuvers. That's the last one. Oh, here we go. As you can see on the left, see the little plane portrait? That shows the damage on the plane. Another part of, you know, what makes it so realistic, if you get a hole in your left wing, your, you know, your maneuverability will be crippled. And also, with bombers, if you lose the, you know, the tail rudder, you are fucked. Oh shit, he's hit my engine. It's caused my plane to sit on fire. Right, there's only one thing I can do. And, blow up a fighter, it seems. <laughs> I, oh, no, come on, keep firing. I'm not down yet. <laughs> I'm not dead yet, motherfuckers. Jesus, I don't know how. Come on, keep firing. Right, fuck this. I'll... Yeah, go on, take him out. You know what? I'll do this myself. No, 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 that's not. Oh, I'm doing all sorts of crazy shit now, aren't I? Holy shit. We're still airborne. How are we still airborne? 
Only just, but... <laughs> We're still going, guys. Uh, how am I, how am I supposed to drop bombs like this? No, I can't push my nose down. I'm trying. Yes, I can. Ah, the spirit of the British Air Force I just took a shitstorm. You know, my plane's set on fire. But we're not down yet. This baby's still in the air. And it's still partly manoeuvrable. At least for one more bombing run. Right. Uh. Let's just drop bombs everywhere. Where's, what's it doing? What is it doing? Control yourself. Uh, losing speed, losing speed. <sighs> well, I can happily say well, at least we've won this game. I mean, I know I don't contribute to what's much. Jesus. This thing is as hard to control as, you know, something I'm designing Kerbal Space for. Drop bombs, Jesus. If I've got any hope of hitting them, it was them. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like the helicopter's out of black hole down. I really cannot control my plane. <laughs> we got a hit with a bomb. Sweet. Come on. Yes, kill assist. That's what we want, really, isn't it? Ugh. Let's. There's not much else we can do here apart from. Parachute out. Right, let's get in my Gladiator Mark II. Back to the good old biplane, which some of you may recognise. Yeah, not as fast as the more modern, well, when I say modern in terms of this game, modern planes, but it does the job and it has a shit ton of firepower. Not as much as a horror game, but it can hold its own in a dogfight. It doesn't really survive very long though, it doesn't tend well to bullets. I've, se I've seen this plane shot down within two seconds, you know. Keep it that? And victory will be ours. Dead now though. Bomber? Ah, oh, it's someone who jumped out of the plane. Well, there's a bomber up there which I could go for, and he's obviously going to go try and go for our airbase. I think he bailed out as well. Is it with everybody in bailing out today? Has everyone just given up? Fail <sighs> camera. <laughs> yes, it seems that a lot of people seem to be jumping out of those. No idea why. Green smoke can't help that. <laughs> the people on this game also are very friendly. I'll give them that. I've, I've asked a couple of questions, you know, just like what's not to speed to land, because every time I try and land, I'm not going to do it in this video because I'll embarrass myself, but I just implode into the ground. Oh, oh come on, Adam. He's going to do it. He's going to be the one who settles this. Gonna, you know, that's my armored car. No, don't reduce speed. We're going for the final kit. I can't aim. Oh, my gun's jam. My gun's jam. Well, that was. A fail. Oh no, I'll just crash into it. No, I won't. I'm tempted, but I don't even know. Oh god. Now you'll see how long this lasts in a dogfight. I've already lost my bloody left wing. Jesus. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yes! Yeah. British Air Force. <laughs> you can take out hurricanes. You can take down my bomber thing, but you can never take down the gladiator. And I don't really come high up there, but to be honest, when I'm bombing, I don't really particularly get that high. Oh yes, brilliant! New aircraft available. Final blow. Deliver the final blow. Destroy the most ground targets. Several players are equal. Yep, so sweet. And I've unlocked a few things, including a radiator, so if you're feeling a bit chilly in your plane. <laughs> right, but the brilliant thing is I can get the next hurricane. And I can get the next bomber! So, right. First of all, I'm definitely keeping my old hurricane. I'm going to replace it with... Yep. 
So now I have two hurricanes, and then I'll be unlocking a top. I could really do with a Spitfire, but right. So that's a light bomber torpedo. What's so special about that? Does it have a bigger payload? There's two turrets, the same payload, slightly faster. It's more of a torpedo bomber. I'm, I'm okay. So I, I want to look at this anyway. Let's upgrade my crew. This is another thing to mention. Yes, you can upgrade your crew. You know, make them a bit better. Definitely increase G tolerance and increase vitality so your pilot can take more bullets to the face. Okay, so now that's done, we're gonna come out of that. I do want to try, I especially want to try the German Air Force at some point. The only thing which I don't like about the British Air Force is they seem to, I don't know, the jet fighters aren't the prettiest to be honest. They look like tiny, um, you know, commercial airliners to be honest. It's like private planes with guns, so, so what's so special about this anyway? He has brown machine guns, the same as that, more ammo. Um, Let's have a look at the weaponry. So, it can actually get missiles. Oh, and it has 12 NGs instead of 8, so, more weaponry. I should. What? Right. And, I'm also going to upgrade this, increase my top speed. So, as you can see, 3 kilometers per hour. And I'll like that. But that should make my plane the tiniest bit faster. Right, I I can buy just buy everything. Ooh. Right. <laughs> Do I go for the more accurate five hundred, you know, pound bombs? We'll just try them anyway. And I suppose we shall replace the Feltacular Swordfish with the Noah Bomber, to be honest. Because... Yes, yeah. Because the Swordfish, while being... Alright, it's not quite the same as... Yeah. We have one... So... We always want accuracy because then... The I, f I believe that makes the turrets more accurate. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right. So we're ready for one more battle. And I'm still in the rank 3. Because my global rank is actually rank 3. However, my plane... I'm a bit confused if it goes off your country's rank. Because I, I, I would believe so. Because I wouldn't be expecting... You know, if you start a different country, you'll have to start from scratch in terms of planes. And I don't want to be jumping into a fight with jet fighters, to be honest, while I'm in a biplane. I don't think that will go too well for me. <laughs> I like that. When landing, drop your landing gear and don't forget to reduce airspeed. That's something I clearly lack because I just I tried to land at 300 kilometers per hour, then wondering why is my plane disappeared. Right. Do I go? Good luck. Have fun. Have fun on a game like this, are you kidding? It's impossible to have fun when people, are, your allies are crashing into you. I think the worst is when your allies actually shoot you down. You start screaming down the mic. You know, just so much rage. Oh, it's just such a beautiful aircraft. Sorry, I just, uh... I was just a bit, um, away there. <laughs> looking at the beauty of this really. Just the graphics are brilliant. This, these aren't even the highest graphics actually. There's movie graphics which make the clouds even better, which I don't really dare do at the moment. But I might try. Anyway, this map is quite spectacular. Dogfights are crazy on this. I've played on this a lot. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go up high and I'm going to do the uh, classic um, 
maneuver where I get behind them and die for them. God, if people can play this with dual cores, Jesus, then it must be optimised. I mean, I was worried that my i7 would not cope with this. Not fully, anyway. And it's absolutely fine. Right then. So, let's make our target. The. I see a biplane down there, quite easy to take out. 5 FPS. Is, see, I. Oh god, we do speed, Jesus Christ. Don't faint, please don't faint. Ooh, so much G force. Well, that was the biggest fail. Oh god, hurricane. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, that was some Pearl Harbor shit right there. 